Uh, hi, I'm Dr. Jayanth here. I'm uh, a cleft surgeon and I take uh, pride in representing ABMSs. Uh, from here on, as the child develops, few of them actually can develop a small fistula or an opening in the repaired cleft palate, which can uh, result in regurgitation of fluids via the nose and also can hamper the speech uh, that uh, uh, the child is developing and might requ require a small touch up to close this and also to improvise on the speech therapy by lengthening of the palate or by uh, reorienting the muscles and tightening, tightening the muscle sling. Uh, so th these are secondary procedures which we get into with all these cleft children between the age of uh, 2 years and uh, 16 years as they grow. Uh, by assessing the child regularly. Uh, now between uh, the age of 6 and 10 our focus now shifts from speech to the oral health with uh, the milk teeth uh, uh, falling off and uh, the child's permanent teeth coming. Now oral health is of prime importance to the general well-being of the child and our focus is on prevention prevention of caries prevention of bad oral hygiene as this can have a deleterious effect on the uh, child itself and to make an impact uh, we uh, actually get involved with pediatric dentists who will apply fluoride who will take care of preventing the caries and uh, loss of teeth early in life and along with this uh, pre uh, preventive dentistry, we now embark upon the interceptive orthodontics uh, as these cleft children have some constriction in the growth and the arches are constricted and to ensure that the growth and development of the mid face is normal. We start the interceptive orthodontics which will last between the age of 7 and 9 where we expand the maxilla or the upper arch while also ensuring that the retrusion of the mid face is attended to and once uh, this is done uh, by around nine years we do the bone grafting along the cleft alveolus in the same pathway between the lip and the palate now the bone grafting is very uh, important in supporting the uh, alignment of the teeth and in saving the upper anterior teeth as also in providing support for the nasal base and lifting the tip of the nose while uniting the two halves of the maxilla and uh, once this uh, bone uh, grafting is done the from here on again the child will come for annual visits for a uh, overall surgical checkup wherein we evaluate the growth of the child uh, we look at the uh, speech part of it, we again assess the ENT health, we deal with the oral health again from time to time as the permanent teeth are coming up and uh, from here on the chi child enters into pre-surgical orthodontics uh, wherein we focus on uh, aligning the upper and lower teeth to sit properly so that when they reach the uh, adolescent phase of it and their growth spurt is nearly complete we can get the maxilla to be advanced the upper jaw to be advanced to meet the mandible uh, when they are around uh, 16 to 18 years based on whether they are boy or a girl and uh, this would be a penultimate surgery where we settle the facial profile with the orthognathic surgery and the last bit of it would deal with the reshaping of the nose uh, the so-called rhinoplasty is a cosmetic surgery to reshape the nose and the rhinoplasty actually is the final surgery uh, wherein we reshape the nose along with any touch-up of uh, the cleft lip wherein a minor scar is there or the child wants a bit of lip pouting and uh, uh, once this is done uh, more or less the comprehensive care of the child which started from birth which included nutritional therapy NAM or the nasoalveolar molding the lip surgery the palate surgery followed by speech ENT care dental treatment orthodontics in a stage wise manner to look at the challenges that these uh, children pose with their growth were attended to and uh, then we get into the bone grafting and finally, uh, we do the 
orthognathic surgery and the rhinoplasty surgery so to sum it up cleft care is about uh, rendering uh, functional rehabilitation via the comprehensive care program at abmss wherein we believe that each child is unique in terms of the deformity and we customize the treatment plan and the care that we render for the child